Hey, I would greatly appreciate it if you could support me. Simply go to ebay.com in the search bar, type in Latrice Limited, click on shops and then support me. I have a wide variety of items on there, many of my own personal Latrice Limited items, such as candles, bath bombs, soaps, essential oil blends, all that, even lingerie robes as well. I even have men's ties on there, comic books, a whole bunch of stuff for everybody. Definitely do not forget to support me and also do not forget to like and subscribe. And now let's get into this video. How many of y'all are still eating at the in and out mm -mm -mm. Oh, me for one, I am like not a huge fast food person at all, okay? And in and out I think I had maybe once, but I feel like I haven't even had it. I feel like, no, I, no, that's what it was. I didn't actually have it. I looked at it and I was like, mm-mm, that ain't for me. <laughs> but we're going to get into this uh, story. It says, in and out Burger bans employees in five states from wearing masks starting august 14th in and out employees in those states who want to wear a mask must have a valid medical note exempting him or her from this requirement a company memo says um, those who wear masks for medical reasons must wear a company provided n95 mask the new policy will apply to the chain's employees in arizona colorado nevada texas and utah our goal is to continue to provide a safe and customer-centric store and support environments that balance two things that in and out is known for exceptional customer service and unmatched standards for health safety and quality well says those who fail to comply with the new guidelines could possibly be fired y'all we believe this policy will also help to promote clear and effective communication both with our customers and among our associates the company said employees in oregon and california locations who chooses to or are required to wear a mask must wear a company provided n95 mask the company did not go into detail about wearing a company issue n95 mask versus one purchased by the employee however the change memo said that the policy would be reviewed periodically to ensure its effectiveness and compliance Wow, I don't understand, you know, I just, why? I kind of feel like you should just let them wear it. I guess the reason why, I, I bring that up because you have a lot of people who get mad, like, why are you wearing a mask? And it's like, why do you care? <laughs> wear the mask. I, I, don't, I don't see why you're bothered by me wearing a mask. But you have people who are legitimately bothered by you wearing a mask, like, why are you wearing one? You should take your mask off. And it's like, it's like asking me why am I wearing white socks today? Why do you give a crap why I'm wearing them, you know? So maybe that's why I just feel like this. If the person wants to protect themselves and, you know, this would make them feel safer, let them. I don't understand why we gotta, why is this even an issue? Just let them wear what they want to wear. I mean, you're in and out. Are you paying $30 an hour? Last time I checked, you do not pay $30 an hour. I mean, you, you're not paying that much to be asking for all this extra stuff. If someone wants to do it because they feel safe, safer, because uh, let's keep it real. You have everybody named Mama coming up in here trying to order a burger, trying to order some fries, trying to do all this other stuff. And it just, you know, I don't know where y'all been. So let me wear my mask. Let me have my hands and ties. Like, come on, y'all. What are we doing?